Oh, look at this little bounty hunter coming and collect on me. That's so cute. Uh, hey, it's Outlaw 2044. I'm back in another video. I'm going to show you how to build a ship from scratch. But I need a ship to start with, right? So I'm going to see if I can take over this guy or one of his friends and go from there. So let's see what I mean. You're not going to do anything. Ah, his friend looks better, like a smaller ship. I'll take that one. Let's parse it there. You took out the jump drive. And to him. Alright, now we're gonna lock on to his friend. Locking, and we're gonna hit him with the EMF. We're gonna switch over to engines and do it. All right, now we can dock. All right. Yeah, I like the smaller ships. They're easy to deal with. So let's uh, let's go in there and take care of the crew. I'm gonna switch to my new pistol, which I really like because it's crazy. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this guy. This guy. This is the one I got for joining the free stars. Uh, but this one's better. Let's see. Where is it going? This guy's better. It's like 200 points of damage on this thing. Now there's probably contraband on this ship when they use the uh, is contraband. Oh, there she is. Here we go. No, that's not weird. Okay. So anyway, there's usually contraband on here, and so I'm not going to deal with it because I'm just going to go to my base and start this thing over. And once again, we are triumphant. Okay, I think they're dead. All right, so. We take it. Nobody else is on board. Excellent. All right, so let's go find somewhere to land. Hopefully, you don't get arrested. Uh, actually, I'm going to avoid getting arrested, so I'm going to go to a place where I know that nobody's going to bug me because there's weird stuff in this ship. Oh. I'm not going to bother searching for it. Oh, the engines are down, so let's repair those real quick. All right, so to repair engines uh, on a ship, if you didn't know. Um, so hit the Alt key on the keyboard, and then the the A S D W keys or the A and D keys. So you want to lower with the S key the weapons and whatnot, and put them into the grab until it comes on. And when you put power to something, it repairs it, and you have to keep doing it until it clicks in and repairs. See, there it goes. Okay, so I've repaired the engines. I can now make a jump. Hopefully I can jump back to the key with this little bitty ship because sometimes they're just not that strong. Uh, let's see. Where's the key? Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Move that over. All right. I, I have, have things for you. you. Oh, really? Hopefully, no I, jump, it never gets old. I think I have um, probably three million in credits or something like that. But that's more than enough to rebuild a ship. I'm going to show you from scratch how to do a ship. Time to cycle the airlock and move. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Okay. About a million things to do. To Can't this wait? No. Nope. Some harder meds. All right. 
Need some repairs. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so here's the thing I just did. I'm gonna have to register it, but it's gonna want me to register it for quite a bit of money here. So, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna run this batch file. This resets the value of the ship sales and registration to 20% as opposed to 80%, right? Which is ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna register it now and it's gonna cost me 5,000. Okay, got it. Now I'm gonna to go to ship build. All right, so know first that um, sometimes ships have unique parts that are not sold wherever they might be, right? So in this place, there's, there's they may not have some of the ship parts that I have. So if you delete them, you're not gonna find them again. So uh, let's keep one. Let's keep this samurai cockpit. That's kind of cool. Let's keep that. Uh, I might keep some of this. What's that? Control. All right. No, oh, I like the port. All right. So this is not too much. All right. So we're gonna delete the rest of the stuff. So you hold down shift, and then you should be able to select everything here, right? So where's the control? It's control. There we go. Control. So control lets me grab everything, <laughs> grab everything, and then highlight them, and hit the delete button, and it deletes them. Or I could just individually delete them because it's just not working that well. Okay, so all the ship is deleted. Uh, I don't even know why that's way down there, but okay. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. This should be higher. I don't know why it's way down. All right, let's see. All right. Navigating this thing can be kind of a pain in the neck. All right, so um, once you get used to navigating the ship navigator, uh, the ship builder, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's. The first thing we're going to put down is some landing gear. So we're going to go. Is this going to give me trouble because it's on there? I don't know. I've never saved a part before. I usually delete everything. Alright, let's just get rid of everything just because I don't want to deal with the headache. Alright, so. Here we go. So we're going to get a part. We're going to go hit G, which is add. And the first thing we're going to add is some landing gear. Or actually, another bay. We need a nice bay. Like the bay. We want a front bay because I like the front because most of the ships, uh, when you when you land, if not all, when you land in ports, they're they're actually facing the front of the ship, so it's easy just to run into it. Uh, and let's do this one. It's kind of narrow. It's kind of cool. let's see. so so it's on the ground, right, more or less. So all right, so I've got that ship part. All right, so. Your best friend in telling you what's wrong with this thing is going to be the C button. You can hit the C button over here, or C. So it's telling me what I'm missing, right? These are all the parts I'm missing, right? And the other things, because the other parts are missing, right? Like, it's too heavy for grab jumping because I don't have any engines or anything. So yes, that makes sense. So, all right, let's get in here. All right, so now we got that. Let's do the next bit. We're going to add, um, let's just make this a... Uh, a quick kind of fighter. Right, let's do a fighter because I like fighters. They're quick and they're nimble and they just take things out and you know you don't have to deal with all this stuff. So let's do that. So we're going to do a fighter. Um, would you want a big bridge? And I don't know if they actually have a big bridge here. Let's find out. So we hit G and uh, we're going to go look for a bridge. Cockpits. All right, let's see. Armstrong cockpit. And if you look here, it says crew stations. This is what I'm curious about, crew stations. Now there is a little bit of math going on here that the, the ratio of how much this thing weighs um, hull-wise and how many landing gear you need, uh, it will tell you, it'll complain. So let's go and find a nice cockpit that has a decent amount of room. That's four crew. That's good, let's get one of these guys. These aren't too bad. I mean. So that's four crew. I want to keep my mass a little on the low side. So what's the best with less mass and most crew? Four mass, four crew, and 
It has a little bit of cargo. Okay, that's perfect. So let's add that in there. So put that on. F is to raise. I mean, uh, R is to raise. F is to lower. So there we go. Now we're on there. Now this can get tricky because sometimes there needs to be an interior connection between here and here. So the cockpit and here. So before I start tacking everything onto it, let me see if I've cleared that error message first. So hit the C. Let's see. Okay, it's not complaining, right? So if it were complaining, it would do this. So let's let's do this. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's do this. So I hit the C again, and see if it tells me. Uh, missing the docker. Okay, so it's not complaining yet. All right, so it's okay. Let's let's stick this back on there. All right, so that's good enough for now. We're gonna make it kind of a I don't know, how about like an eagle? I mean like a, oh, you know what? I haven't tried making like a bird of prey from like Star Trek. Uh, you know, like a, like a Romulan bird of prey. That'd be kind of cool. I'd really love to be able to make like a huge Dia Dedrix. That would be really good. You know, the big green ship, the beautiful ship. All right, so uh, let's do that. Okay, we got that. We got the cockpit. We got the landing part on. I'm going to move this over just because I don't want that. I guess that's where it's going to be. All right, so let's. Uh, all right, so now I imagine getting into the ship. You're climbing the ship. The first thing you're going to you're going to climb into is this little ladder up here, and then you're going to be looking this way. You're going to see the cockpit back here. You're going to see what. So, like my other ship, I'm going to put the qu captain's quarters here. So let's put a G there, and let's. Uh, I'm going to look for tabs. All right, so that's companion ways. I like these two berths. The threes are huge. They're nice long ships. All right, so two berths is not bad. Let's see if they have one. Now, now that I've selected it, if you use the arrow keys, you can navigate to change different things, right? So, uh, so, but if you move your mouse, of course, then you lose it again. All right, so um, this is the first one. That's the all-in-one berth. This is a decent one. It's got two passenger slots and some crew can sit in there. And it's got your random stuff in there. Uh, but there's really no equipment usage. I mean, there's nothing you could do in there. All right. So let's go to the next one. There's the armor. You could store your weapons in there. We've seen that already. Captain's quarters. Okay, so here's the bed. We're going to put that there. We're going to hit the E to uh, accept it. And then we're going to move it into place. All right, so now it is green and in place. Okay, so now we got that. Let's see if it's complaining about the cockpit. I don't see anything about cockpits. Okay, good. All right. Now, people color their ships. I mean, you can. Uh, and that's very simple to do. Uh, so if you just highlight it, one hit, highlight it, and hit the uh, J for color, and then you could change what color you want. Let's make this one. We're doing an all white ship that's kind of cool. So that's your first color. Gonna make it white. Make the brightness really white. And then we're gonna go color. Two oh wait, that's there we go. We're gonna white and then color two, the same thing. And then we go on a white ship and color three. We're gonna go the same thing. Now if you highlight the whole thing, you can actually color it at one time if you want. Um, but then uh, it's a bit ambitious for me right now. So, all right, let's see. Uh, and then you accept. Apparently, that's this is considered white. Okay, it doesn't look very white to me, but all right, whatever. Okay, so let's continue building our ship. We got, so you're walking into the ship. You got your cockpit. Now you got your captain's quarters. Um, because it's a fighter, and because I've already done most of my crafting, I'm not really caring about you know all the crafting stations and everything. But I want to be able to make sure that I have all my crew with me, right? Because that's the important part. And I want some cargo because there's a ton of cargo I need. All right, so we got that, we got that. So this is four crew stations. This is the captain's quarters, for the bed to keep the bonus, right? Uh, and then we're gonna stick another one back here. Do we want to do it on top? If we do it on top, it's gonna create a stairwell. And that we have no control over where that stairwell is. It could be here, it could be here, it could be anywhere. All right, so that's good enough for that. Let's do that. We're gonna um, let's make it a longer ship. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna add another hab. Let's do um, let's do a control center because that's usually the uh, the one for all the crew. 
This is a twofer. That's not too bad. This is a different design, Nova Galactic. People like to use all one kind if you want to kind of keep it uniform, but I'm not really big into that, so it doesn't matter. All right. Crew stations. Control center, four. Okay, so that's four there. All right, so there we go. Stick it on there. And that's... um. I guess it is white compared to the original, huh? Maybe this ship just needs to be darker design. Okay, so I got that. So now, now you've got a long walkway in here. Now let's build outwards, put some wings on it, engines and everything else. Okay, so the next part uh, I like to do at this point um, is to put some underpinnings here to make this kind of fleshed out, right? So we're going to do what they call uh, structural, which is just hull pieces. So we're going to go over here and go to structural. What do we like? Um, hope. Get the hope. The hope ones aren't too bad. I like the hope ones. You know what? Let me. Yeah, this is gonna be annoying. All right. So I'm gonna see if I can. There we go. If I, if I'm just hovering above this and if I click on that, it may actually let me do. No, that's not gonna work. If I hover above it and hit. G to attach. It's going to give me. There we go. Now it's going to actually show it in place. So let's see what we got. We're going to do. This is some cowling, right? Yeah. Body bracer. Engine mount. Oh, that's kind of fun. I could put an engine mount down there. It's going to be a short ship with lots of firepower. How's that sound? So if I did that, I put the engine mount there. I could put one of those big engines down here. And then I'll strap the you know other stuff here. Oh, I still need a border. And I don't think this station has a sideways boarding unit, which can kind of fit here. Um, so it's going to need to be on top. Which is I could stack a few things here, but it's ultimately the border, the the boarding hatch will have to be on top or on the side. All right, let's do this. Um, where that engine strut go? There it is. All right, so there's the engine mount. We're gonna put that there. All right, I like the engine mount there. That's fine. All right, so if you notice, these numbers are turning blue, right? So now you want more blue numbers, obviously, because this is telling you. Um, Got too much hull, not enough engine, because something's off balance, right? So that that's what it's really basically telling you. So let's go to the next one. All right, so all right, um, make sure everything is okay. Right, that all looks fine. Okay, let's strap. Uh, Oh, we got that. We got okay. So I've got lots of room for crew. I've got four here, four there. I've got enough for eight crew, and I've got the captain's quarters. I'm not worried about the armory and everything else, but I do need some storage. So let's strap some storage on there. We're gonna go maybe here, and we're gonna go look for some storage cargo. All right. So what kind of cargo do we want? That's 160. Now I know that I have a ton of cargo at this point, and the game will let you overfill your cargo but it just means that you won't you can't pick up anything new right so um let's pick up some big cargo because we're going to stick big engines up right so i think 1200 is probably good well that's a 1400 orange max now if someone actually did the the math on these like which one has the best mass to cargo ratio and stuff like that and but they were all within like 5% of each other, so it wasn't that big of a difference. Let's do uh, a couple of these. Right. Now, if you notice that the required skill over on the left is Starship Design 3. So if you don't have the skill, you will not see this cargo hold. Or if you do see it, you won't be able to put it on there. So uh, let's put that on there. So we're gonna, now we're going to stick it here. Do I want it? No, I want my gun ports to be up there. Okay, so let's do this. So we're gonna move this back here. We're gonna slide it back. There we go. 
And now we're going to mirror it. So we're going to hit the uh, the control key, highlight, uh, hover above it, and hit the G key to duplicate it. And now we're going to slide it across, right? So now we've got two on there. My cargo is 3160, which is almost enough for all the crap I'm carrying around because most of it's resources. Um, okay, that's good enough for now. Now we need engine, shielding, that kind of stuff, right? We need weapons, lots of weapons. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to go, let's stick an engine on there. We need the engine down here. So what we're going to use for engines. So let's take a look. Now we want high maneuverability, right? And we want um, enough to get this ship going, right? So let's go look at the engines. Now because I am higher level and I have all these other things, you know Starship Design 3 pops up again. So I can have that if I wanted to. Uh, but I want... I'm not too concerned with engine thrust. That's like taking off and stuff. But I'm really more concerned with maneuvering thrust because I want to be very maneuverable, right? So... Now I like these, uh, the White Dwarf 330s. There's, there's a decent amount of thrust and... Um, Engine thrust and maneuvering. It's not bad. So, but they do have higher ones. I'm going to go down slowly here. These Novas are nice. Um, let's see. And if you notice the max power it uses is three. And like I said, uh, I don't know if I mentioned in this video, but a different video. But uh, everything is in s up to a max of. 12 for the power for any system it can have a max of 12 power so in the, in this case i could have three of these engines so. yeah that would just look weird that's not gonna even look right uh these aren't too bad these novas aren't too bad it's a decent amount of thrust and everything else uh let's do that all right let's stick it all right let's see we're gonna mirror it again so. and then we hit z to flip it Okay, so now I got some engine on there. I've got enough engine. My mobility is still really low, which means I can stick another engine on here. So we're gonna put one down here. What well, we're gonna put down there? The uh, one of the three thousand series. Let's try that. All right, we're gonna highlight and then uh, I'm just gonna hover. That's all I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not clicking on it. So I hit G, and then we're gonna go here. So this 330 gives me 3200 uh, and then it's it's actually pretty good. Apparently this is the only thing that's going to fit down there. Okay. So. See, I can't do that. It's going to have to be this one. All right. So now my mobility is up to 87. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. It's going to tell me I don't have any landing here. That's for sure. Which I don't. Um, let's drop some stuff in here for the... We're going to have to put a... I think I'm going to have to put a, an, another bay here. Maybe one of those uh, walkways, basically. Companionways. Uh, Alright. So... Let's stick... Let's see. We've got cargo. we got... Engine. Let's stick a reactor. I like putting big reactors or two small reactors. I have a mod that lets me put two more than one reactor on there. I don't know how many I can actually put on there. I haven't tried putting more than two because you really don't need more than two. All right, uh, let's just add something in here. We're gonna go to oh, they have equipment. All right, so they do. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm on. I'm on the key. So uh, I'm gonna talk about this too. So this is the key is one place where. If you're part of the Crimson Fleet, you can get jammers and scanners and stuff like that. Uh, jammers and shielded cargo to hide your uh, contraband. So that's what you need to do. Uh, and you could put a couple of these on there to help raise that frequency. Because to see if you, one is 10%, two is, this one's 30%, this one's 50%. Uh, you can put two of them on there, but I think there's a hard-coded maximum in the game like you know it's like 90 percent or something like that because th there's always a chance of failure right and, and i think that's where i don't think you can shield at the point that it, it cannot fail i don't think it'll let you um but i haven't tested it so we're not gonna worry about that right now but um we do need fuel tanks we're gonna have to put some gear on in a minute okay here's a grab drive let's find a good drive drive All right i'm not 100 percent sure about the different stats for the grab drives um 
I haven't looked in too much of them. I usually just pick one that's a decent thrust amount, like in the twenties, the high twenties, early thirties, thirties, uh, and I'm good with that. So I don't really think too much about it, and I just click it on. Here's a class C. That's a decent one, right? So. And of course, the budget has to do with it, but I've got enough here that uh, I'm not too worried about it. And so far, the ship has cost me <laughs> very a little bit. So, um, but if you notice, as I'm moving around here, you see my mobility here. It's moving. It's changing. So I don't want my my ability my mobility to be damaged too badly. That's a very small drag drive. We're gonna want a bigger one. Okay, that's probably decent right when you now we can move this around. Uh, we're gonna raise it because we're gonna stick it up here somewhere. There it is. I'm gonna put my reactor there. I don't think I'm gonna get one of the beefy ones, I think I'll get a smaller one. There we go. What's the biggest one that can fit in here? It's gonna let me. That's a 28 power generated. Fourteen twenty-six. Twenty-six with a forty mass, that's not too bad. Let's see what this big one is down here. A twenty-eight with a sixty-five mass. So for eight more I lose a lot of mobility, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to go with this 23. I think that's a small, decent one. Good enough. I only lose four mobility with it, so that's good. All right, so still not as mobile as I want. I like in the 80 range, which means I may have to put bigger engines on this thing. So, all right, so that's what we got so far. Now we got to put some shielding on it, some fuel tanks, which all that good stuff, which we need. So... We do need a border. Let's stick the border here. So that way when you come up to the ship, you're gonna walk in, you're gonna walk towards the the cockpit, and then you're gonna go up to go into a different ship, right? Because I don't think there is a side border here. And I don't think I can do a side border on this ship because there's no edge that I can border to. Let's see. Okay, let's stick uh shield what do we need let's the C key is our friend it'll tell us what we need so we need a docker landing gear count is off I tell you they tell you the um, the landing gear is um, based on the weight of the ship okay uh, oh contains modules exceed reactor class oh Oh, that means I've got the wrong reactor on there. Okay, and what are these C's? No, these B's. Oh, I need a I need a B reactor. Okay, I'm gonna have to go bigger anyway. So, yeah, this is not gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna add a bigger one on there. B. I guess I will have to use this massive thing. Okay, so. All right, so fuel tanks, weapon assignment, shield, no landing gear, okay. I'm gonna put the docker on here somewhere. Boy, we may have to fill this out a little bit. All right. Why do all coal ships look like giant weirdos? Okay, so, all right, let's see. Um, that's, that's good, that's good. We're gonna have to come out this way, I guess. We'll build some structure this way, because we want we want to do a. I don't think does this base have the the, the parts to make it look kind of like it's um, coming out. I don't think it does. All right, so let's see. Here's the big generators over here. This one is fourteen hundred. I saw a sixteen hundred. There it is. Is that gonna fit on? That's a class C, but I don't think I have a class C generator. Right. This is a small ship. I have a class B reactor, so I can't put that class C on there. So the highest class, of course, is what you can put on your what your reactor is. Anything that's above the reactor, you can't do. So I can't do a C. I could do an A or a B. Right. 
What's the highest B I could do for the shield? Alright, B. The highest I could do is a 900, I guess. Oh, wait, that's a 14 B. It's got a slower regenerate, but that's not too bad. Because hopefully the fight will be over with by then, right? So, what's the mass on it? 70 mass, 90 mass. Okay, this one seems pretty good, so we're gonna put this on there. There it is, it's like a little dome. Move it up. Let's stick it. Yeah, it works on there. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so. Now we're gonna bring the ship up this way. Right. And we're going to do that several ways. But because we also need to extend it this way and that way so we could put the landing gear on it, right? Because there's nowhere to put the landing gear right now except right here, which is one mount only and it's not really gonna help. Alright, so we got not enough landing gear, missing a docker, no fuel tank. Okay. So we're getting closer to the finish of the build. Alright, so let's uh, add the structure on here. I like these Nova Bracers. They're they're actually really cool, and they've got so many connection points on it that you can just make the ship kind of move out a little bit. And this is a, I think this is how we'll do this because this is very simple. All right, so let's do that. So we're gonna attach this. What should we attach that? And lower it a little bit. In there. Okay. The question now is when we attach the landing gear, is this gonna be low enough that we can actually put the gear down or unless um, we're gonna have to put it down here somewhere I don't know we may have to do two of these or make this one lower Let's see what that looks like I could put a landing gear there and I could put my favorite thing here the, the Nova weapon mount so um, yeah I could put a gear here and I don't want to put more of these on there so let's try that. Let's stick a gear. Well, we might have to put another one here to put another landing gear, but we'll see. All right, so let's let's put a landing gear there. Highlight over it and then hit G. And then we're going to go to gear. Okay. We want the higher thrust because uh, like I said, the math involved in this tells you how many you need. Um, you know, I should probably look it up, but I haven't bothered. All right, so these are kind of the standard-looking ones that are on there. So if you notice that that the feet are actually below the ground at this point, which means that this is this landing gear is too long or too tall for this strut. So I'd have to put it up here instead of here. But this one can fit down here, and that's okay, right? Because it's kind of a short squat thing. Uh, which means that can I put it in there and then come this way? I think I can and I can get away with that. But then we won't have our wide ship, right? So we want to do. Oh, I know what we can do. We can get rid of this guy. We're gonna. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna execute that. We like that. Okay, we we'll get rid of this guy. Highlight him and hit delete. We're gonna duplicate this guy. And we'll put that there. Is that stuck? Oh, it's not stuck on there. How about that? Mm, that's a weird look, isn't it? I don't know if I like that. How about back there? Okay, that's not too bad. All right, it's kind of more compact than I wanted, but uh, I may be able to do a little bit with that. Let's, we're going to duplicate with G. Uh, it's Control and G. Now we're going to use the Z key to flip this thing around. I'm going to lower it in place. place now okay all right here we go Ring G and in place all right so what's the errors now I've got enough landing gear here to take off good so I need I don't have a fuel tank and a docker okay and I don't have any weapons all right let's take care of that so I mean yes you could you could make the ship prettier by putting cowling on and all this other fancy stuff but I just haven't bothered and I usually don't because uh I like them functional. 
All right. Uh, let's see. And cowling ads. Wait, don't forget that. That is a very important thing not to forget. All right. So we're gonna. All right. Now we need. Uh, what do we need? We need fuel tank and a docker. Okay. So let's do with the docker. What's it gonna let me put on there for a docker? So we're gonna. It's not gonna let me do a docker. That's um. Well, there is a stretchy docker. Where did that thing go? Here it is. Is that here? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna. It can let me do that. Hey, it lets me do that. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it too much. All right, so you're gonna walk in the ship and you're gonna see this ladder in here and you're gonna go up in the docker. Right, that's how it's gonna work. All right, uh, we could port port windows here so you can look out and stuff, but we're not gonna bother. Because um, uh, you can spend a lot of time making the ship very pretty. So um, let's let's stick some weapons on here. So we're gonna use my favorite. Hopefully it's at this station. Otherwise we have to fly to a different station to add them on. So um, let's G. We want what we want is structural, and it should be. Nova weapons mount. Usually down the bottom. Right there. Is it missing it? There it is. Alright, there it is. There we go. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Alright, so I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna mirror it again, put it over here. Now I got my weapons mount. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weapon mounts. Easily. Okay. I gotta put a um I still need fuel tanks, so we're gonna put those here, I guess. We can stuck them in there. All right. So let's put some fuel tanks. Uh, fuel tank. We're not gonna do anything crazy with the fuel tanks. We're gonna put some smaller ones. That's 50 fuel. No, I want more than that. Uh, no. 100. Oh, that's huge. All right, so oh, that's not too bad. 100, 150, 200. Oh, that's not too bad, does it? Yeah. Okay. So we do that. We'll duplicate this. We're gonna now hit Z to flip it again. Stick it in there. Now we have 200 fuel. Jump. Our mobility is pretty down, far down. Okay. So that's not. We don't have really the best mobility. We're gonna have to change these engines. I don't like them. Let's get rid of these engines. Okay, these are 4,000 thrusts. All right, let's see if there's anything bigger. So let, before I delete them, I'm just gonna see what is, what's bigger. So now, if you go to like the Stroud um, place, you'll get the bigger engine sometimes. Uh, of course, you're still limited by the size of the reactor. Very small thrust. This is all very small thrust. Okay, that's what we have now down there. Can we get for? Can we get into the? All right. So this is the max we're going to get at this. So it's what we have, and that's the max we're going to get. Because we don't have a C reactor, right? We don't have access to a C reactor in here. At least I don't think I do. Did I not see it? I mean, I'll stick them big C reactor into that. Oh, I do have C reactors. Okay, there we go. All right, I just didn't see it. All right, so um, that's the other thing too. I've noticed that if you click on or hover near something, it sometimes won't show you everything that it has, and so you have to kind of move away from it. So this is giving me the C reactor. Okay, so um, is that 30? How heavy is that thing? I'm gonna do I think we're okay. we could pry it. All right, let's do that. Twenty-four. This is probably decent. Um, let's do that. Let's get rid of the existing reactor. Highlight, delete, ram that thing in there. It's gonna fit. Of course not. It's too tall. It's, there it is. Now it's in there. 
Now I can get rid of these engines, and I should be able to get some bigger engines in here. Let's see what we got now. Let's go back to engines. Can we get some Class C engines in here that I move things around? Class C, very good. 17,000. Is there anything that kind of looks normal? All right. All right. That's not too bad. That is, that's good. 7,000 thrust. I could put three of those in there because max power is three for each. So let's do this. All right. So this is going to look a little weird. Give it that. Give it that. And we're going to lower that. Duplicated. What's it look like now? Oh, see, we added more weight to it, so it's going to need bigger, right? More landing gear. So it's whining about landing gear. But our mobility is up to this 74 again, so it's not too bad. So it's going to go down again, so we put more engines on. All right, where where can I stick one on that won't look really weird? Can I do it underneath here? Is there room under there? I guess I could stick one right here, right? There is something right there to stick on to. So let's go uh, here. We're going to go gear. Oh, sticking an engine in there is fun. All right, so what gear can I put here? Anything? Oh, that is below. That's not going to work. All right. OK, fine. All right, we're going to do this the weird way. We're going to put another one right here. Of course, it won't let me. What's wrong with it? Oh, these engines are in the way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to see how these this is getting bigger because if you're using bigger parts and you have to start moving things around. I think I'm gonna have to use an engine mount of some kind. Alright, so let's do this. If I use the engine mount, it'll bring the engines out here and it'll make it more room I could put another landing here on both sides, right? So let's do that. So we're gonna Go in here, look for the engine mount. The cowling is cool, don't get me wrong. And it does have its function, but uh well, I'm gonna let the engine mount disappear on me now? Okay, fine. So let's do this. We're gonna, we know it's there because we used it. Highlight that NG. Here it is. I'll bring this thing up. There. I'm gonna duplicate it over here. Shove that back in there. Now, is this gonna let me stick this here? Excellent. Okay, so now I can have it up to that. So, G. Okay. Now I'm gonna put these weird-looking engines back here. Actually, so this is a uh, this is 21 and 7. This one is 21 and 6. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna add another one of these guys in here. Cause we can put one right here, right? So that actually look cooler. So, oh, sorry about that. All right, so there we go. That looks okay, I guess. What's the error? Darker module me outside edge. See now, it's complaining about the darker module because this is taller now. So, it's not too fat to ship it in there. All right, so I'm going to have to put a, uh, a module up here. Okay, we're going to move this up here for now. We're going to add a, um, a companion walkway kind of thing here. So, we're going to go to have, here we go, there's the walkway. Put that on there, and now we can move this on top of here. It will stop complaining. And there it is. We have no weapons right now, but there it is. The ship is pretty much finished. All right, so now we're going to add our mobility in the 80s, which is good. We were targeting around the 80s. We've got lots of cargo, we've got lots of hull, lots of shield. Um, this I, I never worry about too much. 27 light years is okay, so yeah, we won't be able to make a huge jump. But you can always upgrade later. So, 
Uh, now our ship is pretty much done. Let's, let's stick some weapons on it. Um, so weapons are going to lower our mobility, right? So it's always like that. Uh, so let's add some weapons. I like that because I like to design them for what I'm going to do with them, right? So the ship, what I'm going to do with it. So this ship, I'm going to basically go around blowing up pirates. And that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm rarely going to capture anyone, right? So I'm going to put the EM weapons on the G, which is typically the missiles. And I'm going to put the two ballistics and energy weapons up front to melt the shields in the hull. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, let's do something. Now, I like these cheapy cannons, actually. They're, they're quite good, and they're inexpensive. And they do... Look at the firing rate. 6.5, 15 damage. That's really good. That's very fast. Um, so, you can do a lot with these auto cannons. You don't need the really giant ones. I mean, they're nice, but you don't need them. All right, so I like a high firing rate with a decent amount of damage, right? So usually you get those down here, like the, um, where's that one I have? The Vanguard Hellfire Auto Cannon. These are nice, so 7.5 rate. That's a very fast rate. That means 7.5 shots per, you know, whatever, so. Yeah, this does more damage, but look how slow it, that rate is. It'd be like, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm going to select this. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. I hate that I can't see. Look how that was. Look, this is, really is a terrible thing. Look, look, look at where this thing is, but, you know, there's no depth perception. You can't tell where the damn thing is. So it fits there. Okay, so that's there. Um, I mean, you could do it on one side and one side. You could do it across the top, whatever you want. So I'm just going to do it uh, easy because... This is just a quick video to show you how to do this, right? So we're going to put a third one on the other side. Uh, we got three. Now, I will not let you put six of the same weapons on there. It, it's nice. It would be nice if it did, but it doesn't. Okay, so this does hull damage 26. It's got a firing rate of five. It's decent. It's got a low mass. I like it. It's not very expensive. Uh, so far, my ship is 163,000 credits right now. So up here. Okay, so let's add some more weapons. That's that's my first set of weapons. My second set of weapons is going to be more of the same kind of uh, ballistic weapons. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna add them across top here, right? And then we're gonna put the other ones here. One, two, three, right? So let's do. Let go here. Or maybe over here. Who knows? All right, so we're gonna go with. Um, Well, that was a six, right? This is, um, 15. Yeah, that's a good speed. All right, let's do that. That works. So. One, two, and three. So, I'm not gonna, gonna flip it. There we go. All right, so. Now I got my two sets of weapons there, and I'm going to put the third set of weapons on up here because I occasionally will want to take a ship down to board it because you get the loot, right? So I'm going to go to G. I'm going to look for those suppressors, which are the ones we want. That's a low firing rate. It's not too bad. A better one. Sparks of air. Spark. Okay, so 1.5 rate, but the electromagnetic damage is 30. So it's a little bit. Oh, this is much better. Okay, we're gonna put these on there. All right. So if you click on something and hit the W or S key, you notice how this is changing. This is a pain in the ass. I really hate that. So now you have to go and reselect it. 
what it's doing is cycling through all the different weapon parts, but it doesn't actually change here to tell you what, what you've got selected. All right, so. We're gonna go with this one, right? No, we're gonna go with that one. All right, there it is. Click it in place. Now we're gonna raise it up, take it off, raise it up. Stick it on the head somewhere. Can I put it up here? All right, I guess not. Hold on, all right, fine, I'll put it on. Oh, there we go, I'll put another one up here. Two, and a third one somewhere. I'll put it over here or something, let's see. Where's it gonna let me? Okay. Now, you could put it behind like that, it doesn't actually affect it at all. So. Right, now we're going to assign weapons to a group. So, this is also where you're going to name your ship, right? So, in the C screen, see this button down here? G, to rename your ship. And I tell you that it is a nightmare to use this button. But let's do it. So, we're going to hit G. And this is what it's called right now. We're going to hit G again to rename it. Clear this out. And we're going to call this guy, what, Avenger? Sounds good. And then you got to hit over, click this because if you click E to confirm it's going to add it to the end of the thing right <laughs> stupid so now it doesn't always work I've had to come back in here and do it again twice so let's go back in there make sure okay All right so let's go to weapons now here we go this is your first fire button second and the G key right so we're going to go one we're going to put the pro auto cannons on it uh, two we're going to put the proton beams and three we're going to put the suppressors on all right. We are now flight worthy. Uh, these are a bit low. It's not too bad. It's not terrible, but it, it does a decent amount of damage. So, okay. And there it is. All right. So now is Need it a all, drink? Don't is you? Bog at the last be. Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. I gotta make sure I actually have that ship selected. If you want to change your ship, uh, go into the ship sales screen. Go to uh, go into the view your ships. Sure, sure. Let me punch that up, and we can have at it. And then you hit the the um, the button to select the home ship, right? So this is the Avenger. This is already the home ship. But if I change it to a different ship, this button appears, the home button, right? The H. That's the one to move everything over. So I'm already in my home ship. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so now we'll go out and we're gonna go fly this baby and see what it looks like on the inside. So, okay. all right, let's go inside the Avenger. Okay, so here we are, kind of board. This the hatch that we're looking at earlier, because that's where the boarding hatch is, right? So now we're gonna go down one floor. Okay, there's the front of the ship, because we made it a short ship, right? Here's the docking part that's gonna go down. So here's the nice bridge. It's not bad actually. Here's that control room I created earlier. Sure, I've got a minute. It's not bad. Uh, it. I don't know why it seems so dark. Yes. Um, okay, it's okay now. There is a bug where everything looks really, really dark. Um, but I don't think that's happening right now. So let's undock. Look at the size of these engines. They're huge. We've detached. Let's get out of here. All right. So let's allocate our energy here. Because I don't have a second reactor, this is actually kind of small, if you notice. So. so one in there at least. My shield is not all the way up, but let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's see if we can find somebody to fight. So let's uh, go out here. Let's 
find some place like this. Let's see what happens. Didn't have enough power to the grab drive. Sometimes if you just fly around and, and jump to the different planets and moons, you will run across somebody. We got one more to try, and then we're going to call it. But I really want to show you combat in our new ship that we just built together, right? So... Come on. Nobody around? Part of my problem is I'm now in the Crimson Fleet. So I think they just don't bother me. I usually get spacers or something crazy like that showing up. Nobody yet, that's just a mission. Alright. Let's try a different system. Sad that no one's showing up to fight. Oh, wait, behind me? Now somebody shows up? Finally! Starborn, okay. This may be challenging because uh, I don't usually take on Starborn and this small ship, so. There's two of them. Hope we don't get destroyed. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the EM because I don't want to board them. I'm gonna put it on shield. And I'm gonna take the EM out. Oh good. Target's engine is down. Nice. Space bar for thrusters. Excellent. Okay, so that's good. Let's go to the next one. So you hold your space bar down for thrusters to move around easier. Lock it into place. Excellent. So, our brand new ship does really good against these high level enemies. Hey, thank you for watching. This is Outlaw 2044. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it with you. So, subscribe to the channel. 
Stay tuned for more stuff. Thank you.